Let's see here. Are we there yet? Uh Happy holidays. Morales Media here. My name's Omar, and today we are going to review the DJI Phantom 4. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button and like button, you should, because I have some more amazing cons that coming for 2020. So as mentioned in the title, today we are reviewing the DJI Phantom 4. The DJI Phantom 4 is one of my favorite drones. It is a prosumer drone and is action packed with features and capability. So right off the bat, you'll notice that the DJI Phantom 4 comes in a hard styrofoam case that keeps the drone nice and protected. Inside you'll find a cutout for the drone itself, a controller, two batteries, and some extra space. In my opinion though, the case is a little small, that's okay. The Phantom 4 comes with a 12 megapixel 4K camera. It can hit speeds up to 45 miles per hour and has a transmission range of about three miles. It can fly definitely well above 400 feet and has a built-in gimbal stabilizer to keep your footage nice and smooth. And right out of the box, you'll notice that your Phantom 4 actually comes with a hard plastic gimbal and camera cover. This camera cover does an amazing job of keeping the gimbal from moving around and the camera banging around. I recommend keeping it on anywhere at any time you're transporting your drone from place to place. I actually really enjoy the gimbal system on this drone. It's a highly responsive three axis gimbal. It's very dependable and reliable and you will get some amazing footage with it. The Phantom 4 has some pretty impressive battery life compared to other drones, anywhere from about 25 to 30 minutes. Inserting the battery is quite simple. Look for the red hazard triangle on the battery, squeeze the two grips, and insert the battery into the drone. After successfully inserting the battery, I always recommend that you tug on the battery a little bit just to make sure that it locks in place. The Phantom 4's propellers are detachable, which makes it nice for easy transportation and mobility. Inside you'll find 8 propellers marked in different colors, 4 black ones and 4 silver ones. Before you can get the drone in the air, you'll need to make sure you grab two silver propellers and two black propellers. The Phantom Force motors are actually color coded. If you look on top of the motors, you'll notice that there's three dots. The three black dots are where the black color coded propellers go, and the ones without the dots are where the silver ones go. Installation is actually pretty easy, it's just a nice twist and turn. After you have all four propellers in place, I recommend tugging on the propellers just lightly to make sure they're nice and secure. I've actually, one time I've had a propeller shoot off completely because I didn't put it on tight enough. Next up is the Phantom Force controller. Very impressive, very professional, sturdy, and nice build of a controller. The only thing I don't quite like about the controller is that the signal on it is not the greatest. I recommend buying some signal boosters, and I'll actually eventually do a review on the pair I have. So your controller is actually your viewfinder. You get to see what the drone sees from your phone. I love that the controller is built in a modular fashion to not only fit just iPhones or any phone really, but it can also fit tablets. Very nice and very convenient. Phantom 4 comes with some amazing specs and qualities. It has a 4K 12 megapixel camera, a 25 to 30 minute battery life depending on where you're flying, and a transmission signal of about three miles. Now deciding whether the Phantom 4 is still worth it for 2020 can be a little bit of a dif difficult decision depending on what you're trying to do. There's so many drones from the Sparks to the DJI Mavics even, that's their whole line. And then the Phantoms actually have quite the number of drones in there. The Phantom 3 and the Phantom 4 let alone have eight different models you can choose from. Now would I recommend buying the DJI Phantom 4 in 2020? Depends on what your purpose is. If your purpose is to just fly drones recreationally, or as a hobby, I would definitely recommend getting a lower end drone, maybe like a DJI Spark or a Mavic Mini they just released. That said, if you are quite serious about your videography or your content creation, I would recommend getting a Phantom 4. The Phantom 4 has everything you need to start taking some amazing professional videos and photos. That being said, if you enjoyed this video, found it informative, or liked it, please hit that like and subscribe button. It helps tremendously share it, maybe one of your friends will find it informative as well. My name is Omar, and this is Morales Media. 2020 is our year. Let's get it.